we are the ones being targeted. But the perpetrators are not East Indian. The urban youth, the miscreants of the corridor. Amid the backlash, Pandit Satyanan Maharaj is receiving for this statement he made about criminality in Arangwes yesterday. He is standing by it, saying just this morning another pundit was robbed of a large sum of money in El Sikoro. In a press release, he says the criminal struck again and described the robbers as three Afro-Trinbegonian men. He said the most troubling thing is that so many people are ready to label him as racist when the truth is as glaring as the daylight. I-S-U-P-K I got you. And what you have to understand, so-called black man, is that they have three structures in place for you so-called black Hispanics and Native Indians. Structure number one is for you so-called black Hispanics and Native Indians to continue being under their feet, continue being in servitude to them. And this is what we want you to escape. Because the Lord sent us out there for you so-called black man. The Lord sent us out here for you. You want to go first and chapter 2 and verse 1 by the push up. You see the eyes. It's time to vote God. My God a real nigga. Cause he want no flaw. Posted on the corner like a watchdog. Family secure. Got that shot in the closet. You are part of the 12 lost tribes of the nation of Israel. You are not an African. You are a Jew by blood. And this is your record called the Bible. And we are going to go into this record to show you what your forefathers left for you to understand so that you will be able to navigate better in this world you will be able to navigate away from the heat that is taking this earth away from the fire that is taking this earth you will be, you will be able to escape this and come into the isupk come into that home what the most have set up for you so-called blacks hispanics and native indian what that point that was saying you are being under attack by the urban youth all he's telling us people is to tighten up and when they tighten up more pressure is going to come on the so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native Indian. And what you have to understand, so-called black man, is that they have three structures in place for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Structure number one is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians to continue being under their feet, continue being in servitude to them. Structure number two is that thing they call the bullet. They have that in place for you so-called black man. They want the so-called black man to die by their hands or by the hands of their own. Structure number three. What you have to understand, so-called black Hispanic and native Indian, the funeral home is right there waiting for you. And this is what we want you to escape. Because the Lord sent us out here for you, so-called black man. The Lord sent us out here for you. Give me the book of Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1, Baba Kusha. What are you doing? Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Do what? Gather yourselves together. You so-called black Hispanics and native Indians, you are to gather yourselves together. When you see that Hindu pundit make that statement, you now have to understand, it's time for you to gather yourself together. Although we have been saying this since 1969, black Hispanics and native Indians, the tide is getting high. It's time for you to gather yourself together. Go ahead. Yeah, gather together. Oh nation, not desired. Oh what? Oh nation, not desired. Oh what? Oh nation, not desired. And you will come into the understanding, so-called black man, that you are that nation not desired. You are that family that is not desired by these other nations. That is why it was so comfortable for the pundit to come out and say that. You are the ones that is not desired by these heathens. And we're going to go into this Bible. Give me the book of Judith, Bible, Christian, Judith verse 5. We're going to go into the Bible and show you where this has happened. Where this has happened to you, so-called black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian man. Where you are not desired by these other nations. You may think that East Indians like you. You may think that the Chinese like you. You may think that the Syrians like you, but they don't. They are continually putting you against one another. Putting the black man against one another. And, and that is one of the reasons why we are not able to rise. And, and when you look closely at what is happening to black people here in Trinidad, you're going to see the people that rule, they are putting things in place to continually have the black man destroyed, continually have the black man at the bottom. They are not trying or putting nothing in place to make the black man rise from the condition that they're in. 
when you have to read Baba Kusha, Judah chapter 5 and verse 1, we're going, um, we're going on to verse 5. Judah chapter 5 and verse 1. Go ahead. Then was it declared to the Holy Fund that the chief captain of the army assumed that the children of Israel had prepared for war. So now, the chief king, this he didn't understand that the children of Israel, they was prepared for war because there was time for them to go into battle. And had shut up the passage of the hill when country and had fortified all the tops of the high hills and had laid impediments in the champion countries. When? Verse 2. Wherewith he was very angry. Wherewith he was what? He was very angry. Wherewith this heathen was very angry. Because we at one point in time, we was well fortified. We had things in place to deal with situations like this when these other heathens try to come out themselves. But no, we don't. And you're going to understand why. Go ahead. And call all the prince of Moab. All the prince of who? Of Moab. And when you read this Bible, you're going to understand that every race is recorded in this Bible. So when you hear the prince of Moab, it's talking about the Chinese. When you hear the Elamites, it's talking about the East Indians. When you hear the Edomites, it's talking about the so-called white man. Every race is recorded in this Bible and the atrocities that they have done to the Lord's chosen people. Read, Baba Kusha. And the captains of Ammon. Go ahead. Captains of who? Of Ammon. Which is the Japanese. Go ahead. And all the governors of the sea of the coast. Go ahead, go ahead. Verse 3. And he said unto them, Tell me now, ye, ye sons of, of Shannon, who is this people? So now the king is asking, Who is this people that dwelling up there? Who is this people that is in Silat and John John and Mova and Tumaka and Scorpion? Who is these people that dwell up there? Go ahead. Is, is that dwell in the hell country? And what are the cities that they inhabit? And what are the cities that these people inhabit? Go ahead. And what is the multitude of their armies? And what is the what? And what are the multitude of their army? And what structure that these black people have in place? This is what he wants to find out. Go ahead. And wherein is their power and strength? And wherein is what? Wherein is their power and strength? And where are these black people getting their power and strength from? Because they're not coming to me. Because as you read earlier, you will understand that this king was a mighty king and he was feared by many nations. No difference to today. We have been feared by many nations, the white man, the Chinese, the Syrians. We understand the power they have. We understand the might they have. And when we look at our people, we always have to turn to their people for help. We can't help ourselves. We can't help our own. But go ahead, read. And what king is set over them? And what what? And what king is set over them? And what king is set over these black people? So he want to know before he come and take down black people. Go ahead, read. Oh, captain of the army. Oh, what? Oh, captain of the army. Go ahead, you're going up to verse 5. Verse 4. And, and why have they determined not to come and meet me? And why they what? And why have they not determined not to come and meet me? And why these people ain't coming to meet me? Why these people ain't coming to give me reference? Because I almighty and powerful. This is what you have to understand. Go ahead, read. Then all the inhabitants of the west, mm -hmm. verse 5, then said, and show the captains of all the sons of Ammon. So the captains of all the sons of Ammon, which is, go ahead. Let, let my Lord now hear a word from the mouth of thy servant. So now he's saying, listen what's going on. Let me tell you about them black people that up in Silot, that up in John John, that out on the Bitum, that in the landfill. Let me tell you, listen to what I come in and say now about these people. Go ahead. Stop in here, you have And I will declare unto thee the truth concerning this people. And I will declare the truth. I am going to tell you the things that is really happening about these people. I am going to tell you the things about these people that living in the hills, about these people that living in the cities. I am going to tell you the truth. When did you have a five ten number for sure? Which dwelleth near thee? Which what? Which dwelleth near thee? What? And inhabit the hills, countries. Mm -hmm. 
And there shall no lie come out of the mouth. I'm saying what I'm about to tell you about these black people, ain't no lie going to come out my mouth. I am going to tell you the truth. Jump down to verse 17, Baba Kusha. And while they sin not before their power, and he's saying, and while they sin not against his power, so when these people dwelt, they was not sinning against their God. They was keeping the Lord's commandments and statutes that was said we were supposed to keep by our forefathers. Go ahead. Not before their power, they prospered. They what? They prospered. This is what you have to understand, so-called black man. When we come into the, the, the family structure, of black people, which is this structure in the Bible here, yeah? and we start keeping the Lord's commandments and statutes of the Most High, we're going to start prospering. Go ahead, read. Because the Most High that hated iniquity. Because the Most High that did what? Be because the Most High that hated iniquity. The Most High that hated iniquity, that hated sin, go ahead. Was with them. Was with what? Was with them. The Lord was with black people. Because we was keeping the Lord's commandments and statutes of the Most High. The Lord was with us. But watch us today and what's are going to happen. Go ahead, read. Verse 18. Mm -hmm. But when they departed from the way. But when, when they what? But when they departed. But when they departed, when they left, go ahead. From the way which he appointed them. From the way that the Lord God gave so-called black people. When we left that way, which is keeping his Lord's commandments and statutes, following his high holy days, going to his holy convocations, Gathering with your people, go ahead. They were destroyed in they were, they were what? They were they destroyed in many battles. We was destroyed in many battles. So many things we tried to do, we was destroyed. Because we turned away from what the most I have gave us as a people. Look at us today. We are destroyed in many ways. We are destroyed because black people are not continuing continually. Falling up with what the most I have gave us. Go ahead, Baba Kusha. Very sore, and we're led captives. And we're what? And we're led captives. And we're led captives. Go ahead. Into a land mm -hmm. that was not theirs. And was led captives into a land that was not us. How do you think we came across here on the transatlantic slave trade? We was led away captive into a land that is not ours because we disobeyed. The voice of the Most High. We disobey the things that He tell us to do as a people. Okay, ma'am, verse 20, Baba Kusha. Judah chapter 5 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor. So He's telling him, Well, therefore, my Lord and Governor, let me tell you this. Go ahead. If there be an error in this people, if you could make black people error, listen good. If there is an error, and this people, go ahead, go ahead, verse 21. And they sin against their power. And they do what? No, we don't know what. And they sin against their God. And they sin against what? And they sin against their God. They sin against everybody God. And sin against their God. The East Indian God. Their God. The Ethiopian God. Their God. The Hank of Egypt. Their God. The white man God. Their God. If we sin against our God, and where are we going to learn about our God? In the ISUPK under commanding General Yana. Because our God is right here in this Bible. Go ahead, read. Let us consider Let that. Let us what? Let us consider. Let us now study. Once we can continually get black people to sin, let us study. Go ahead. Let us consider that this. That what? That this. That what? Shall, that this. Go ahead. Shall be the ruin. That this is going to be the destruction of black people. Once we get them to continually sin against their God. How can we continually sin against our God? By going into the Christian church. When you think the Christian church is here to help you, it have nothing. The Christian church is teaching you about God. The Bible is not a religious book. Christianity is a lie. All these religious leaders, they are not telling you the truth of who you are, so-called black man. You are one of the greatest things to ever pass on the face of the earth. And still are today, even if we are in this condition, which is at the bottom of all these other nations, of all these other races, this is what you have to understand so far, black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian man. This is how serious it is. Where read? Let's just see verse 21, right? And let us go up. And let us what? And let us go up. Go ahead. 
And we shall overcome them. And we shall what? And we shall overcome them. No, once we keep black people sinning, once these heathens understand how to keep the black man sinning, pushing guns in the community, pushing drugs in the community, setting up Christian churches in almost every division on, in Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean islands, all where black people is, they're going to understand. Let us what? Let us, let us go up mm -hmm. and we shall overcome them. And we shall what? And we shall overcome and them. And we as a people is going to be overcome. We are going to be destroyed. When you take a good look at how black people function in here, you're going to understand we are destroyed people. But we're not coming together. We're not pulling together. We're not wanting to do anything together. Everything turned independence now. I could do it by myself. Just, you understand? I could do it by myself. Food. This is not a star, right? right? This represents the king. This is our signature. This is the signature of King David. You know, long time when I watch movies, and you see the roller palette and pass stamp on it, this was the signature. So now, if I ain't see that, and I come and I post a letter to you, once you see this symbol, and where it come from, mm -hmm. this just means Dawada in the Hebrew. Dawada. You understand what I'm showing you? It's just a signature with King David. You understand? So now if you're passing through in tongue, you see me, and then I mail a letter to you, and you see this, you're like, wait now, how oh, did you to see in tongue? You know that kind of way? Simple. Not a big thing. But you see now what happened in the Christian church, all the different religions, and we oppress you, so called white man. Yeah. Yeah, you make me feel as all mumbo jumbo is all thing with um with candle and lighting and obi and all them thing. Like now nothing to do with that. You understand? Yeah, that no sin. That no sin. Young good terms. Young good terms. Young good terms. Young good terms. Right? That idea verse twenty one. Don't know man. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Judah chapter five and verse twenty one. Go ahead. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, what if there be what? If there be no inequity in their nation... But these heathens understand, if they cannot make black people sin, if they find no inequity in us, when let my Lord now pass by left their Lord defend them. If black people start to keep the laws, commandments and statutes, guess what's going to happen? Our God, our power is going to start to defend us. This is what we have to understand so far. Black people, we stand in the Let it be